What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and I was actually, this is this is filmed, um, I actually just filmed the outro to this video and I was like, well, you know what, let me make sure I even filmed an intro and I unfortunately didn't, so this is the intro, so what's up everybody, um, hopefully you guys are having a great day, um, this video I'm actually going to be trying to edit it and do everything right now, uh, today is... Wednesday and I actually go back to school tomorrow um, which is a, a shame um, because I was really enjoying my break um, and uh, you know what I actually did not get to do as much fishing uh, on my break as I wanted to I was working a lot um, hanging out with family and friends um, during this holiday time but um, yeah so in this video me and a buddy we go out to a, uh, a local uh, lake it's kind of like a, a smaller sized lake um, and what's different about this one, it's it's here in December. Actually, no, it was like January 2nd, I believe. Um, what's different about it is it, I believe it has a power plant on it. Or it's, I think it's a power plant. I'm not really sure. But it's some type of plant, um, like energy making plant. And uh, the water is actually always warm. And like never freezes and never drops below like... 55 degrees or whatever um, and there's a, there's like a runoff area um, or like a, a water outtake or outflow outflow I think that's the terminology correct terminology at least um, where the water is like super warm like you would want to in January like I wanted to jump in and just fish from the water you know that kind of deal um, because the water is like a lot warmer than the air temps um, so that's one different thing um, about this and it's always warm and uh, yeah so today me and a buddy we're gonna be fishing that um, or in this video we're gonna be fishing that um, I actually only catch one fish throughout this video um, and I don't even get it fully on video um, I don't get the hook set on video at least um, everything else I just I looked down at my camera whenever I set the hook and I saw oh I'm not recording so I pressed the button and uh, started recording um, but everything else is on video so um other than that it's a it's a it's a big one okay it's a big one you guys will want to stay tuned um hopefully this whole thing isn't very big or isn't very the whole video thing isn't very long well i've been talking for a while um so i'm just going to play the video the video is kind of all over the place and i'm sorry for that um but uh it's just kind of how the day went okay but uh other than that thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll catch you guys at the outro peace Oh my gosh, dude, 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 yes, oh yes, yes, first cast, first cast, first cast, six HD, let's go, let's go, that's a good one, yes, dude, fellas, we got a, an absolute tank on Strike King 6XD, first cast with this. I just tied this on, uh, me and Gavin. I was like, you know what, dude? I'm just gonna throw on a 6XD. I just, I, I have to be moving right now. I'm freezing, and uh, I just, I'm, I'm bored just dragging a Carolina rig and whatnot. And here comes a freaking monster. You got that scale on you? Yeah, it's, uh, it's up here. Okay. Where's those pliers? You have those? Can you get those pliers? Bro, let's go. Alrighty. Check that one out, fellas. Put her on the scale. Is it on? Yeah, you're gonna hold on, though. Alrighty, fellas. 2.71 kilograms right there. Absolute stud on the uh, 6XD. Alrighty, fellas. Sorry if it's really zoomed in right now, but uh, we got a certain lens on, so it's got to be. But 
we got the studs right here. This was, uh, mine was what, 5.9 five, 5. 5. 5. ounces? No, no 5.9 pounds. Yeah. So is that like 5 pounds? Almost 6. It's close, really close 12. to 6. Yeah, almost 6, almost 6 pounds. And then Gavin, yours five was 5.5. So uh, we're going to let these beauties go right here. They were both pretty ready to go. The cameras, the camera is, is soaked. But uh, other than that, we're gonna head up. Uh, we're, we might grab some lunch, and uh, depending on that, uh, we'll talk to you guys how we caught the fish today. And uh, I know it wasn't a great video today, um, but uh, I just wanted to kind of bring you guys along for the journey a little bit. That's my first fish of 2020. 2020. And it's a six pounder, so that's pretty sweet. But uh, we're gonna get back in the truck and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all somewhere. See you somewhere. Alrighty guys, so we are, uh, we're back here uh, at my house. It's actually, uh, today's my last day of Christmas break and I just kinda wanna like reflect on it. Um, this is also, this will be the first video you guys uh, will see on the channel of 2020. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna try to have a, a different video specifically for 2020. My plans, um, maybe kind of reflecting on 2019 um, and, uh, and that kind of thing. But I just kind of wanted to wrap up this video. I know the video was kind of all over the place for you guys. Um, but I caught one fish. I caught the biggest fish of 2020 so far, being coming at just a hair under six pounds, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, my PB is seven pounds. Caught it on a, a Strike King 6XD on a uh, 20 pound fluorocarbon. So it was only getting down there, down around like 12 to 15 feet um, on a loose reel and a, uh, a Denali. Uh, fission 72 heavy rod so um, not the ideal setup for deep crankbaits crank baits but I made it work I caught a six pounder and that's I was very happy um, it that made the cold and the weather because the weather was terrible uh, in my opinion um, it made the day at least worth it. At, it made it at least a little bit better, you know? So, um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know, like I said, this is the first video of 2020, a new decade. Um, I don't know what the decade's got planned for us, but, you know, hopefully it's going to be good. Hopefully we're going to continue making some cool fishing videos and, uh, and that kind of thing. But uh, I just kind of wanted to wrap this video up. I know it's kind of all over the place. You guys haven't seen a video in, from me in a while, um, but... Uh, yeah, so um, other than that, thank you guys for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next episode of LMB Nation. Peace, guys.